the key thing to all of the work that we've been doing through over the few episodes in the training is being able to walk or be able to know what is the right stride pattern, the right distance. And that's very key because we as riders have got to be able to judge that when we walk the course, but also when we're setting up the exercises or the fences to be able to train with at home. And one key thing that I always try and educate my pupils with is the ability to walk the correct stride for a horse. Now, what I've got here is a pole on the floor that is exactly 12 feet long. Stand at one end. Walk four nice steps, looking down, using the pole as a guide. One, two, three, four. If you walk in the correct rhythm and the correct size, you should meet the end in the right place. Practice it again. One, two, three, four. Get the feeling of the rhythm. Indeed, you can work it and incorporate it within your normal stride pattern. So again, you start to get the feeling of the right step. Once you've got it, then don't look down. Four. See where you end up or where you are in relation to the pole. There, you see I'm exactly in the right place. But if you're making too big a stride, this could indeed happen. Oh, vice versa, too small a stride. And again, you'll be able to feel that be able to do something about it. So it's really key that you're able to walk the correct stride pattern to be able to measure where to put the jumps and also when you're walking the course to be able to judge the distance effectively.